there, beer tubers. Welcome back to another episode of the esteemed Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we are going to take one look at an Ontario brew of exquisite origin. We are going to take a look at Waterloo Original Dark. Waterloo Original Dark, our brewmaster's great love for the great beer, has been the heartbeat of this company since 1870 recognizes the excellence of all of us with a percentage of profits going to help people that had the courage to spend, help others. Pride. Waterloo Brewing Co. is one of Canada's first craft breweries and proud recipient of many international brewing awards for quality. So, yes, Waterloo Original, dark, uh, handmade by brewmasters, I would hope so. This particular beer has been much in my sights uh, over the last year, year and uh, a bit. Mainly, I have avoided it because I've heard that it's mainly a, a, a mediocre beer, and we haven't, in the past, been able to get this in New, in New Brunswick. Um, in Nova Scotia, as well as Prince Edward Island, I have been able to see this before. Uh, they've changed the can recently, but I have had the opportunity to purchase this in the past, but I have avoided it because I've heard that it's a mediocre beer. So, without further ado, finally we get this in New Brunswick, so I get the chance to actually try this and see if I like it. And uh, I will do so in a batter of moments. We'll pour it into my Samuel Adams glass and see what it looks like. So it looks like it's very dark. They do not lie when they talk about the color of the beer. There is a bit of a ruby redness showing through the beer right there. It actually looks quite nice. With a, uh, a thick bubbled uh, brown head, uh, but a bit of a tan appearance, and it seems to be dying off quite quickly. Uh, very reddish appearance, bordering on dark. There is a lot of light getting through there, so it's not completely opaque. And it looks like it is filtered. I will continue to hold a straight face while talking in this silly accent. So, looking at the beard, it does look quite nice, but I can't see the head look lasting very much longer. So give it a sniff here. It has the smell of dirty laundry. It has a smell... What am I talking about? It doesn't have much of a smell. I smell a bit of a wet towel. There is no trace of a sweetness or a malt in there. Perhaps maybe a bit. It doesn't smell too bad, but I do not quite appreciate the smell. It does not have something to say for it. Other than the way a wet towel smells after you've had a shower. Perhaps that's a bit of my maritime accent poking through there, I don't know. Hmm. All was said and done, it does look good, but it does not have a smell to back it up, so let's give it a taste. It does not have a taste to back it up as well. Why are you talking like an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Because I bloody well feel like it. <laughs> wow. Tastes like a dirty ashtray. Oh, I just farted. There's a hint of a toasted grain in the back there and a little bit of a roasted bitterness, but it is very watery. Compared to the other Waterloo beer that I've had, which is Waterloo Amber, it is as much of a letdown. It does finish somewhat dry, but it doesn't have too much of a malt, dark malt flavor other than a bit of a roasted bitterness. It is very watery and very carbonated. Maybe a, perhaps a hint of a fruitiness to go along with that ashtray taste. You mad at me or something? I just, why are you talking like a... <laughs> I'm wondering if I'll like keep this up for. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to try this? See if you like it. 
This is way my first bowl, but I can't even drink sports. Okay, fine. There's a subtle mat and multi sweetness bomb. What? There's a sunny multi sweetness to this. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot of taste to speak of. Yeah, whatever. I'm getting a little bit of a toasted grain coming out of that. But it's a very beer that's perhaps along the same lines of, but only marginally better than like Keith's Dark Ale. Um, I'm going to sit down with this one for a bit and I'll come back with some thoughts. Figure I'll head back. And we have returned with Waterloo Dark from Ontario. And what do we think here on Maxwell Star's beer review of this particular beer? This particular beer, as you can see, I haven't drank quite much, much of it. I have poured the rest of the can into my glass. And uh, I do not think too highly of this particular beer at this point. I think this maybe is a bit of a marginally better version of the Alexander Keith's Dark Ale that we get here uh, on a regular basis. And this one here, I would say is generally avoidable. Or if you do prefer the Alexander Keith's, you may like this one better. Personally speaking, I don't much approve of this particular type of beer. I think that it's worthy of perhaps a pass rating of 2.5 out of 5, but I don't think I could go any further. So if you're in the area, or if you're Ontario, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward's Island, and uh, any place where this particular beer is available, do check it out if you do like your dark ales, but for most part, don't go out of your way looking for it. I don't think it's quite that high a quality, and I, it's no in no intentional slight against Waterloo, really, because they make a damn good Waterloo Amber. The Amber is much better than the Dark, in my opinion, and that is saying a lot because I like Dark beers better than Amber beers. So I do thoroughly enjoy that one, this one not so much. I probably will still be able to finish this one, but mm, this is probably the only time I will attempt to try this. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching Maxwell Star's beer review of Waterloo Dark. We'll catch you on the flip side. Talk to you later. Cheers.